The heart of emotional intelligence is empathy. I've even heard it said that empathy can save our world. Well, what is empathy? Empathy is our ability to see ourselves in another person or to feel with someone. Empathy is also very connected to the golden rule, to do unto others as you would have done unto you. This rule or value is pretty common among many, many different faiths and is very, again, tied to empathy. When I can see myself in another, it is less likely that I would want something bad to happen to them and much more likely that I would want something good to happen to them because I see myself in them and I would want something like that to happen to me. You can think of empathy and othering as like a continuum. As empathy, I'm becoming more emotionally close to someone and othering, I'm be becoming more and more emotionally distant from someone. Again, the more emotionally close I am, the more likely I am to include them and act from a place of kindness. And the more emotionally distant that I make myself from someone, the more I am willing to allow something bad to happen to them. Othering taking to extremes is actually things like cruelty or bullying or even racism. So empathy really does build a more inclusive and peaceful community. So how do you practice empathy? Well, empathy really has three big parts. One, to see what someone is feeling. Two, to put yourself in their shoes. And three, to feel a little bit of what they're feeling. You don't have to feel all of what they're feeling, but if you can just feel even just a little bit, that is an empathetic response. Let's say, for example, a friend of mine is super upset because she lost her cat, her cat has died. And she's really upset, and I noticed that, an unempathetic response might be, hey, get over it, it's just a cat. Well, if I do that, you can imagine the impact that would have on my relationship with her. It would probably be a long time before she forgave me. In fact, a unempathetic response to an emotional person is often a very big withdrawal in that relationship. So let's take it the other way and imagine I have an empathetic response. I notice that she's upset, so I see what she's feeling. Then two, I put myself in her shoes and imagine why she would be emotional in that situation. And then I feel a little bit of what she's feeling by knowing what I would feel if I had lost something I loved. Now, one key delineation there is too often our own preferences and values get in the way of us feeling empathy. So let's say, for example, let's say I don't like cats. Let's say I dislike cats. And when she says, you know, my cat died, I think to myself, Good, one less cat. Well, thinking that is one thing and not good, but even worse, if I said that out loud, that would be monstrous. And that would be a great example of a very unempathetic and callous kind of response. But if I can think to myself, okay, she lost her cat. And even though I don't really like cats, I can think to myself, she lost something she loved and I can find common ground in also a time I lost something I loved, and then I can feel empathy, it completely changes the experience. This is empathy, and it's so important that we show it to others. Empathy is core to building stronger, healthier relationships. And if you can remember to see what other people are feeling, to put yourself in their shoes and to feel a little bit of what they're feeling, then not only can you build stronger and healthier relationships, but if we can do this together, we can build a stronger, more inclusive, kinder, and more peaceful world. And I'll see you in the next video.